Our project started in January 2020. We partnered with the Courtauld in London as part of their National Partners Programme, which aims to share their collection across the UK whilst they undergo a major transformation. The Courtauld offered to loan the Perrins one of seven Impressionist artworks by famous artists. And we gave the decision of which artwork to have over to young people in Hull. And through a series of outreach activities, they had the opportunity to cast their votes.
all the voting finished before the first lockdown and the chosen painting was Claude Monet's Antibes, painted in 1888. Voters said that it made them feel calm, relaxed. It reminded them of holidays by the beach and good memories with family. And over the summer, the future ferns gathered together online and over Zoom to curate this exhibition. They researched paintings, they wrote interpretation, they designed the gallery space, and they built an exhibition all together. To help build the exhibition, I was involved from the beginning when we first had the Monet painting, and we had to choose the sort of paintings that we wanted to go alongside it. So we started to think about what we thought about the painting, what sort of themes that could sort of feed into that based on what our feelings were with the paintings, and then just sort of whatever fitted in with that. I think it's been really helpful today to be able to see them in person to decide on the layout. So I've joined the um, exhibition team quite late on in the cycle, so a lot of my work has been done researching the paintings and the artists in order to produce content and some of the interpretation, as well as then text editing and then obviously have the install today. Part of it's been working in the space and just discussing with the other team members about the final layout. So obviously we haven't seen some of these paintings, their frames, the way they look in the light and on the colour of the walls that we've got up today. We've just been curating the different sections. We have three main sections and they're basically to let people kind of let go and relax and think about their mind and themselves and mindfulness as an entity. One of the smaller projects we worked on was um, music to accompany the, like, the mindfulness aspects of the, the works and of the exhibition. And so I'm really looking forward to coming in and seeing that all like in person so it will add an extra dimension to the exhibition. As well as curating the exhibition, young people have produced creative writings and soundscapes in response to the artworks on the walls. As you go around the gallery spaces, you'll be able to download new creative writings and soundscapes in response to the artworks. I'm most looking forward to seeing how people react to what we've curated together. So we've got abstract and impressionist paintings, parallels, and kind of seeing how people react. I'm just really excited to see how it looks when it all comes together. It will just be so nice to see it all when it opens up, to see what the public think about it. 